everyone. Welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain Studio update. I have almost finished painting this orc idol for uh, Mini Wargaming Dave's 40k rejects. A little bit of a wog on that side. I've got some resting on there. I'm just going to come back with my airbrush and dust it up a little bit more. On one of these beams too, let's see. Yeah, it's a wog on that beam there too. So there's that guy. And going over here, we can see that I have started to assemble some miniatures for uh, the Crystal Brush coming up at Adempticon in April. So I have uh, Drake McBain, I have an Ironclad, and I have two Infinity models. This is a uh, Musashi and uh, like Sado Togan or something. Sado Togan. And then I have uh, the Iguana Squadron to finish assembling today. And I have a list of stuff to do for these projects. Uh, this is a almost finished cathedral for client JB. So I have all the stained glass in that guy there. And I'm just, all this uh, steel work has been picked out. It's been washed and dry brushed. And it's got to come back. I have the sponges ripped and I have my palette ready. Uh, I was just working on the sponge work. Did some black and silver on this guy to take, you know, make them all, all the chip, chip paint. And so I'm going to put all the rust on the, on the, all these guys. So, so our camera ran out of battery and I got cut off there, but saying that you can see the Aqu Aquila now. And I just need to finish rusting all these guys up. Same thing in here. I have the metal parts picked out. I need to also come back in. And there are a few of these little little control panels there. I'm going to pick out the, uh, the buttons on the control panels. Um, I'm going to come back and wash all these cracks and whatnot. And once that's done, I can come back and airbrush the... Object source lighting, I have a pile of, oh, let's see here, a pile of like cut out little guys, little high voltage signs, exit signs, uh, some posters, some paper, little scattered papers to go around, just have them in that guy, so they don't fly around, and then I have these guys to go in the front of the cathedral again, they have all the writing on them and whatnot. I just need to come back with the airbrush. I have the uh, black here. I'm gonna make it, shoot it from the back, I think, and bur bur cause these are supposed to be like burnt up a little bit, but uh, I forgot to airbrush them when I had my airbrush out earlier. So I'm just gonna wait to do all the sponge work on these guys and then I come back and airbrush. And once the sponge work's done, I can airbrush up all this uh, alien work. So that'll be getting done later today. The front of this guy has been picked out. I just need to do the sponge work again. And then obviously there's one, two, three, four lights that will get object source lighting shot down. So some of these colors will change with uh, the lighting. So that'll be cool. And I think that's it for, yeah, this is client SB. Uh, oh, client R, can't remember the last name, client R, you're from Norway, you know who you are. I have the, uh, your tree stands are all done, and, uh, let's go search for those, hold on. So the lighting is kind of dark here, but tree stands are all ready, the dead guys are all in, and the, uh, pre-made, pre-made trees are set in. So I just needed to get all the trees built, the main trees. And then just need to take a little bit of, uh, I seal them probably about three or four times with the light misting, so they're on their second misting. They're getting pretty good now. You want a little bit of sponginess to them, but you don't want it to, like, fall off, so. Gotta get it going on a little bit. And I'm just waiting on, I ordered some, ordered some barrels and whatnot for more scattered terrain. But right now this pond has some rocks and some just some junk in it should be like a murky pond with 
in the forest, but it also, you know, incorporates some of the town that's really close to this forest. Because there's going to be town, it's like a forested 40k town set. And so these guys have plugs. And this guy should... I might have to trim some of this guy, actually. I didn't realize that. He's in the way a bit. But yeah, that guy will... They both will plug in there. And so if you would need to, or for shipping purposes or whatever, they can come out. They're not magnetized. I thought about magnetizing them, but they, they sit in there nicely, so... Uh, There's just a piece of... Uh, styrene tubing and the other guy's tube inside and then it's just green stuffed in there and the stem has to be cut really short because the stems are usually uh, about to the base of my thumb there they're pretty long oh I guess I got these guys done too I'll do a I'll do a separate guys on these later but these are just personal infinity terrain they are Little planter boxes. I had these pre-made. Uh, they're supposed to be cedar trees. So got little uh, purple and white flowers in them. Some uh, vines growing up the side. That one only has the single tree, but these guys, these guys both have the double tree. Here's the other guy back there. So I'm gonna make some bigger ones. I have a set, a couple more of these smaller ones, and I have a set of. I think there's a. 7, an 8, and a 10 inch tree or something. They're really big. These ones are only uh, 4, 5, and 6 inches. Uh, so they went, the other ones are like bigger fat guys. So I'm going to do something special with those. But those are for uh, some affinity terrain. I'm filming everything that I have on my shelves left. And that board is going to be made into my infinity board eventually. But that's going to be in the new year. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll have more videos to come. This video is the next one. Forgot to mention that I've been working on uh, filling out everything for my Kickstarter that I'll be launching tomorrow. Uh, I'm not asking for very much. I think it's a $2,000 goal. So I'm going to have, I think there's eight, eight or ten pledge levels. Maybe I'll make some more. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to ask them little bits of money for the community and see if you guys will help me out. So that's going to be launching tomorrow. And uh, look forward to that guy too. Or I don't know if you can look forward to it. Whatever.